Welcome to Highlights of Budapest, a city of churches and cathedrals and wonderful architecture, the arts and museums, parks, shopping, food, and wonderful people. I happened to be there for just a very brief period of time, mostly to uh, perform a concert and present a lecture, but I was able to see some wonderful sights and I hope you enjoy this sampling of Budapest. As I mentioned earlier, I had an opportunity to present a lecture at the Theological University in Budapest, and then a brief uh, concert at Fisori Lutheran Church, and then a full-length concert at Diakter Lutheran Church, which is in central Budapest, and right next door is a Lutheran museum. Uh, wonderful host congregation, and a great experience, and a wonderful organ. What follows is a brief organ excerpt a practice session before the concert. attending a performance at the Hungarian National Opera. It's very affordable and just a phenomenal building and phenomenal performers. And if at all possible, do try to take a, an evening cruise on the Danube River. It's absolutely stunning at night, the, the lights in Budapest.
much of the music you've been hearing in the background and compositions of Franz Liszt, famous Hungarian 19th century romantic composer, pianist, and conductor. And he's, uh, his footprint is all over Budapest. There's the Franz Liszt Museum, uh, where you can see some of his artifacts and pianos. There's the Franz Liszt Academy of Music that he founded and taught at toward the end of his life. There is a Franz Liszt Square, uh, now a, uh, a social area with eateries. And there is, there's more than one Franz Liszt statue, but this is one that's located in Franz Liszt Square. At the end of Andrasi Avenue, via the Millennium Underground, you have City Park and Hero Square, uh, home of the Millennium Monument, and surrounding the large square, uh, you have museums, most notably the Hall of Art and the Fine Arts Museum. And then beyond that is a beautiful, spacious park. It's a very popular area of Budapest. Mm -hmm.